Hello year three, I hope you're all well and staying safe at home and thank you for your baked goodies that I had today. They were very, very delicious. Keep up the good work. Today, we will be telling the time to the nearest five minutes. So this is our clock. And as you can see, our clock has two hands. It's got the big hand, which is the minute hand, and it's got the small hand, which is the hour hand. At the moment, let's look at the hour hand for now. Our hour hand is pointing at six. So that means it's six. If our hour hand was pointing at seven, what would that be? Yes, it would be seven. The hour would be seven. What if it was pointing at the four? Yes, the hour would be four. What if it was pointing at nine? Good, the hour would be nine. Sometimes though, sometimes the hour hand points between two numbers. So here, our hour hand is pointing between the five and the six. This means that the from it hasn't passed the five yet, it's about to be six, but it hasn't reached the six yet. So it means it's still five. So let's try one. Let's see. Okay, let's say our hour hand is between the eight and the nine. What hour is it? Is it eight or is it nine? Good, the hour is still eight because it hasn't really reached the nine yet. Let's try another one. Okay. Where is our hour hand? Now you tell me. Good, so yes, the hour hand is in between the two and the three. So what hour is it? Is the hour two or is it three? Good, the hour is still two as it has not reached the three yet. Good. The big hand is called the minute hand. So the minute hand tells us how much time has passed the hour. So let's look at our minute hand in more detail on the board. Right, so that's our minute hand there and that's our hour hand. Each of these represents five minutes that has passed. So it goes up in five. So it's the five times table. So count with me, F3. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then when it gets back to 12, it goes back to 0. So, our minute hand is on the 12 at the moment and our hour hand is on the 6. So the time would be 6 o'clock. What if the hour hand, sorry, what if the minute hand, the minute hand, what if our minute hand was on the 2? So if our minute hand is on the 2, I would say that is 10. 10 minutes past 6. So this side, I'm going to show you in a different colour, this side of the clock, so from 12 to 6, this side is past. And then this side, from 6 to 11, that is 2. So past and two. Let me divide the clock down the middle so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, so that side is past and that side is two. So let's change the time. Let's make the time, let's make it, Let's make it here. So, this would be, you would have to count in fives from the nine. So five, 
10, 15 to the 12. So you always remember you're counting in fives. So that, the time, would be 15 to, oh sorry, I've made one mistake. The hour hand would no longer be there, but where would it be? Do you know, can you tell me? It would be in between. Remember how we said that in between, the when it's in between, it's still six o'clock. So when the clock passes a certain time, so I'll show you on this clock. So when the clock passes a certain time, do you see that? How the small hand, how the hour hand moves into the gap there, moves in between six and seven. And then as it goes around, do you see, it goes on the seven. So right now, our small hand, our hour hand, is in between six and seven, because it's not seven o'clock yet, it's still six o'clock. So the time here, so we're gonna count in fives from the 10, five, 10, 15. So I would say, let me write this in green for you. So this would be 15 minutes to, what was it? 15 minutes to seven. Okay, that is a bit tricky. Let's do another one together. Let's do another one together. Okay. Let's do another one together. Let's do, hmm, let me make it easy for you for now. So let's do, our hand is here and minute hand is here. So this would be 10, past five, because 10 minutes has passed from five o'clock. Now let's do one that is two. So when it goes past the six, remember I showed you on the clock, it goes in between, because it's not quite, it's not quite six yet, it's still five o'clock. So, the minute hand is here, pointing at the 11. So, how many minutes is in between 11 and 12? Remember, we said that it goes up in fives. So, how many minutes is in between 11 and 12? What do you think? I'll let you think about this one by yourself. while I write it on the board. I can hear you all saying it. Five, two, what's the hour that it's gonna be? Six. Five to six, or five minutes to six. Good. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. This time, I'll let you do this by yourself or with a parent or with a carer that is with you, somebody, an adult that is with you. Okay, let's do, let's do our hand and minute hand. I'll let you do this one on your own. Okay, so the time is 20 minutes, oops, 20 minutes, 20 minutes past 
What was the hour? Eight. Well done if you got that. Well done. So it's 20 minutes past eight. Let's try another one. I'm going to try another one. Let's try another one. Okay. I'm going to, okay. So small hand is here. Our hand is here. And our minute hand, our minute hand is here. Yes, let's do that for now. What would the time be? Let me just rewrite some of these as they rubbed out. What would the time be? So remember, in between the 10 and 11, what hour is it and what hour will it be? Remember to count in fives. So the hour is still 10, so it's not quite 11 yet. So, and then we counted from five. So we counted five, 10, 15. 15 minutes to, 15 minutes to, what is it nearly? 11, good. 15 minutes to 11. Let's do another one because I think we need some practice on this. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do, let's do, I'm going to do the minute hand first this time. Minute, minute, hour. Let's do that one. So remember, the minute hand is in between the 11 and the 12. So what time will it be next? And it's in the two zone. So it's this side of the clock. And remember, we're gonna count in fives from here. So I'll just let you do that by yourself now that I've given you some hints and then I will give you the answer in a few moments. Have you worked it out? Okay, let's work it out together. So, it is 2, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 minutes, minutes to, what is it nearly? 12. Good. We're getting there slowly. Time is a really hard thing, guys, and I understand that and I appreciate that. Um, but you will get it, I promise. I promise you will get it with practice. You have to practice a lot and you will get it. I know it's tricky, I know. Let's try another one together. Let's try another one together. We'll do one more together and then I will show you something else. Okay, let's put the hour hands, let's put the hour hands, um, Let's put the hour hand here and the minute hand and the minute hand here. So 
sorry, the hour hand's not that clear. Let me put it more clearer. There you go. So what time will that be? Remember to look at the signs on the board. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but what do you think? So, the hour is seven, so it is 25 minutes, because it's 25 minutes, 25 minutes past, what's the hour? Good, seven, good. You will get there guys, I promise, I promise you. So it's 25 minutes past seven. So in the new curriculum that the government has set for year three, they show the clock like this. I know it looks scary, but it's really not scary guys. It's just Roman numerals. It's just in Roman numerals. And I think you have done Roman numerals in year two I believe. So when you see a clock like that, the easiest thing to do, if you get really really confused, just pretend that it's a clock like this, that it's a normal clock like that. So that's 12, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Don't let this clock put you off. It's exactly exactly the same that we've been doing on the other side just with fancy numbers around it so i hope that lesson was okay for you i know i know it's really difficult it's really difficult and you've got to practice loads and loads so i wish you luck with telling the time and i know you can do it guys you're all, all brilliant well done see you next time